Hello everyone, welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. In today's video, we will be discussing about drug calculation on subcutaneous administration of injection heparin. Before entering into the session, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Let's get into the topic. Heparin is an anticoagulant that prevents the formation of blood clots. Now, let's have a look into the example. Doctors order prescription for heparin 3000 international units subcutaneously. On hand is heparin vial labeled 5000 international units in 1 ml heparin. How many ml should be administered subcutaneously? How do you do this calculation? All you need to remember the formula is desired dose multiplied by quantity divided by available dose which gives the ml. Now, as per the example, desired dose is 3000 which is the doctor's order. Quantity is 1 which is the volume of heparin available on hand. And available dose is 5000 which is the strength of heparin available. Now, Applying all into the formula desired dose multiplied by quantity divided by available dose, we get the answer 0.6 ml. Let's look into the same example. Here, we are going to calculate how many units to be administered subcutaneously using insulin syringe containing 1 ml equals 40 units. In previous example, we calculated how many ml was needed. In this example, we will be calculating how many units is needed. As per the order, the desired dose is 3000. Quantity will be 40 units. Because as per the order, we are going to administer subcutaneously via insulin syringe containing 40 units in 1 ml. Available dose will be 5000. Applying all into the formula desired dose multiplied by quantity divided by available dose, we get the answer 24 units. Now, second example is doctor's order prescription for heparin 2500 international units subcutaneously. On hand is heparin vial labeled 25000 international units per 5 ml heparin as shown in this picture. How many units should be administered subcutaneously by using insulin syringe? Having 40 units in 1 ml. Now, as per the doctor's order, desired dose is 2500. Quantity will be 40 units equals 1 ml. Available dose is 5000 because we are calculating for 1 ml if 25,000 international units is contained in 5 ml, then 1 ml contains 5,000 and hence the available dose will be 5,000. Now, applying all into the formula desired dose multiplied by quantity divided by available dose, we get the answer 20 units. Now, let's look into the same example. Here, we will be calculating how many ml should be administered subcutaneously. According to the doctor's order, desired dose is 2500. Quantity is 5 ml. Available dose is 25,000. And applying all into the formula, desired dose multiplied by quantity divided by available dose, we get the answer 0.5 ml. Now, here are few examples for your practice. You can do the calculation and mention the answers on the comment box. First example, doctor's order, prescription for heparin 3500 international units subcutaneously. On hand is heparin vial labeled 5000 international units per ml of heparin. Second is, Doctor's prescription for heparin 2000 international units subcutaneously. On hand is heparin vial labeled 25,000 international units per 5 ml heparin. The next example is 
Doctor's order, prescription for heparin 1500 international units subcutaneously. On hand is heparin vial labeled 5000 international units per ml of heparin. For each question, you need to do two calculations that is, how many ml should be administered subcutaneously and how many units should be administered subcutaneously using insulin syringe 1 ml equals 40 units. So here you go with drug calculation on subcutaneous administration of injection heparin. If you find this video useful, please like it, share it and subscribe it and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.